Hey, welcome to 6 Minute Salesforce. Uh, in this episode, we're going to get started by opening the developer console again. And we're just going to talk about how to use the logs here, uh, as well as do a couple of other things. So here's the developer console. And we're going to uh, execute anonymous Apex again. And in this one, uh, instead of building accounts, we're going to build some leads, but that's not really the point of this. The point is to kind of work on the system.debug and how to use that and how to use the logs uh, to help you get ahead. So we're going to create some leads here, uh, a simple array of leads, and we're just going to do 10 of them for now. That seems, uh, that seems appropriate for this. And then we're going to do a for loop and we're going to loop over uh, each one creating different leads and we're going to debug them. So first thing we need uh, for leads is we need the name for the lead. Um, so we're just going to call this test lead and we'll just add the number to the end of it. We also need the lead company. So uh, essentially a company name for this lead. So we're just going to call it test company. And of course, we'll add the I to the end of that as well. And so now we're going to go and make a lead. Uh, I'm doing this outside uh, so that we can do a debug right here. So I'm going to make the lead first and then I'm going to debug that lead so we can see it in the logs and then I will uh, add it to the list of leads instead of doing it uh, on one line. So now we're going to say the last name for the lead because that's a required field of course uh, is the lead name and then the company is lead comp and we're just going to leave it at that and now we're going to we're going to do a system.debug on this new lead right here so every time we create a new lead we're going to debug uh, that lead we're going to put it in the essentially the console or in the logs and then once we're done with all 10 of them uh, we're just going to insert those so we can see what they look like inside of salesforce so now we're going to click on execute like we did before in the first lesson and that is going to run uh, all this Apex code. And we want to open the log. So let's just do that right away. And here's our log for this. And now you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, and you're wondering, uh, as I was the first time, how do you sift through all this stuff? Super simple, debug only. So now it shows us each lead as it's uh, about to go in to that list of leads and then be inserted later. So we create a lead, it makes a row. We create a lead, it makes a row. And now we can go look at our leads and we can see that they were all inserted. And we have all 10 of our test leads right here. And we can go look at one of them. And we can see that that information in the log matches up to the information here. So next, uh, now that we've got all these leads in here, we need to talk a little bit about how we're going to get rid of these leads because you can generate as many leads as you want, but at some point you need to get rid of them. So we're going to close down our log and this is where we're going to clean up our auto generated stuff. We're going to open the uh, apex again and we're going to see we have all this. So we got 10 of these guys uh, like we did with the loop and each lead has a test lead and then a number, right? And it, a test company and a number for the company name. So we're going to do a delete command and now we're going to build a SQL statement. So select each ID from lead where, and now this is, this is the important part. We need to know what our where is going to be. So last name like, and then we'll just leave this blank for a second and company like, and we're going to leave that blank for a second too. So we need the last name to be like test lead. And we need to make sure that we spell it right. And then a percent sign, which means uh, it's, it's basically a wild card. So it starts with test lead. And the same thing for test company. Now we're going to highlight that. And we're going to execute highlighted only right there. It's very important that we execute highlighted only. So, of course, it generates another log. Uh, we don't really need to look at that. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our leads, and we're going to see, hey, look at that, no records. 
So it deleted all those leads that started with uh, test company and uh, test name. 